huge. And the niche toad. Hi! <laughs> Hello again. We have come out to Dunkirk Chain <laughs> Radar Station. Yes? Hey! I did try and entice him to come on the video, yet he just won't have it. So he's gonna have to put up with me again. He's shaking his hand, but <laughs> I've got him in the video footage only. So for all of you that miss him, because I am being Unindated with messages, by the way, because mm. I want you back. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we are here at Dunkirk Chain Radar Station. Um, just a brief bit of history that Dan's kindly given me the info to read up on, so I hope I get this right. But in 1937, this was the third of the chain of radar stations to be built. Um, it was it was one of the first five experimental uh, ones that got put up. Dover being the second one, and this one being the third. Um, it ran until the nineteen fifties. In total, uh, there ended up being nine transmission and receiver towers. Whether they be built of steel, there was four originally steel on four timber, and I think the last one to be put up. Oh wait, it was either one or either, so I'm not going to say because I'll probably get it wrong. <laughs> um, but the reason the last one got put up, which totaled to nine here, and we will show you the, the last remaining one, which is still in use, by the way. Um, but they were called the Nine Sisters. Um, the last one was placed because, in the end, their eye watch was originally sent to RAF Dunkirk. Um, and basically they done loads of experimental processes in the end to find out all about the blocking of radar and the undoing the blocking in case that's what happened to us. Um, yeah, we'll show you the outside because as Dan was having a good look earlier, these are built extremely well because they did get bombed. There was minimal damage to the towers, but unfortunately I believe two of the stations were actually hit, but they're built extremely well as you can see. And on the outside, you do, it, they are surrounded by earth mounds all the way around um, to protect them from the bomb blasts. These were, these run until 1950 and then they were just out of commission apart from the one that carried on um, which is still going today I can't remember is it microwave transmissions is that what's the word that's what it's used for today um, but in 1955 um, the RF ended up pulling down and you can see the pictures online because we had a good look um, of the nine sisters, or eight of them, should I say, one still standing, that eight of the nine sisters being pulled down and actually sold off for scrap metal and the wood was actually transferred to other places to put into other use. So we've had a really good look around. I've actually done a different video for you today. So basically we've walked around it first. So you can see the whole thing as we went around seeing it without any talking. And then we're doing talking in batches like this. I say we, because I will get him talking at some point. <laughs> I nearly fell down a hole, which I do show you the holes, but it's in a really good condition. And I know we normally complain about the graffiti, Dan more than myself, <laughs> more than myself, because it grates him. And I do normally agree when you have, you know, giant testicles on the wall and stuff, but actually walking around here, we had the conversation that People have come here and graffitied, which yes, it bugs people and yes, it does ruin the history. But in this case, a lot of it is actually artwork. So people have come here and practiced on the artwork and stuff. And do you know what? It actually gives it character. I actually quite enjoyed going around this and seeing it's, you know, there's hardly any graffiti on the outside, but actually looking at the holes in the wall and the windows and doors that are still there, 
the graffiti really gives it character and really makes it stand out and you can see the size of it so um yeah and then we suddenly had Eva and mice or rats and decided yeah i'll get out <laughs> that's my time to leave so there's this bit and we're gonna go on to the next bit so yeah see you in a minute <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
This is pretty cool, we all like this. You like it in that one? Oh wow, I've got a leg. Must be a chair leg. They've got like a like a generator place in there. Placement. And these must have been a glorious toilet, I would have thought. So which part is this about? I think this is where the other transmitters or parts of the feeding channel tells, I think. Must be you. Yeah, this would have been one of the receiving towers. Oh yeah. Oh look, see? Yeah. Another robin. Way the metal's been ripped up. Look, do you see what I mean? Like how the the, the uh, steel's been sort of like corroded. Do you see what I mean? It's yeah. all jagged. It's not. It's not like a smooth sort of cut. Slice, yeah. yeah. Well, I think actually in the photos, don't they? They, they show that the way that they've been knocked down. Yeah. 
Romeo's best friend. But then he died. Yeah, he died. So, he died. so am I gonna are you gonna like die from that scratch? Yeah, might do. Might be infected. <laughs> I can't on. see because you put my beanie hat over my eyes. <laughs> I have to lean on something. <laughs> lean on me when you're no. not strong. Oh, oh. I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. <sighs> well, you're not that fat. My God, are you really just saying that? <laughs> Hold on, Swaying don't you know, in no, the no, breeze. No, no, no. Oh my God. <laughs> directly in front to the right. Yeah. And it sort of looked like that, but it wasn't that. So they've gone over there? What? What's that then? No, that's just Is that a, another one? That's just a bit of a block. Oh, that's, I think that's just one of these sort of blocks, but I think there's another one in there as well. I think there's, there should be four in there. That's what I mean. Is that another tower? Mm -hmm. Or what was? Yeah. One of the nine pistols. Oh, look, they're different. Yeah, they're slightly different. So, so but they're still the same. See, look, you think? See, look, that's the transmitter through there. Look, I mean, they're not that far away from each other. It might think that because obviously we're in, we're quite thick into the woods. Do you know what I mean? But, yeah. You know. Both these towers, obviously, the. Self, the, the uh, you know what they are, they're the, what we saw when we were in Surrey, where the woman held the horses. Big towers yeah. with anti-aircraft guns on top. Yeah. And they're really, well, they're meant to be high up so that, you know, they can defend. Yeah? Yeah. One's in King's Hill, where the smallest, probably the most well-known ones. But that one's like a slightly different design. I think the steps are on the outside. Uh. <laughs> no. I don't know. Interesting. I suppose. Do you know what? I do think it looks outside. I know I've said this before, but I wasn't in education. I totally have a mobile bag. I loved it. First and only time I've ever had one. I just thought, oh, do you know what? Look at that. You know. Now you're going to have long hair. Yeah, now I'm going to have long hair. Well, exactly, and you can have, like, you know. I'm having long hair because I know that at some point I'll probably be leaving my hair. Might as well get it all done now. <laughs> and it's just going to go turn grey anyway, isn't it? With a couple of bits I already have. Kind of, I don't know. Because you're with me. I don't think I'd look good with grey hair. Oh, I think you would. I think you could, you know, if you, you worked out, you could be like a Richard Gear. I wouldn't be surprised if I had like grey hair. I mean, I would go. 
Oh, I suddenly realised these aren't waterproof. 